hey guys welcome back to my channel it is nikki again um how y'all doing okay so today i wanted to get on camera and do a video full face of new stuff or stuff that's new to me um i'm going to say it again if you haven't seen me with this hair color it is very disturbing to me i don't like it but I'm gonna fix it one day. First of all, don't forget to like this video. Comment down below, just say hi. Subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you would like to see from me or else I'm just gonna put up videos that I just feel like sitting down filming. And today I just feel like sitting down and playing in some color makeup meditation is what I call it. So I took a trip to Ulta today yeah about the low buy i'm still not doing too bad i did shop the sale when i shopped the sale i brought uh skincare i did buy this natasha denona palette that i have been eyeballing for some time but i just needed a little something off of it the um what is it blush and glow bloom palette it's super duper pretty. I'm not mad I bought it. They came out with a tan one right after or during the sale. And I think that's more so for a lighter skin complexion. I purchased two of the Juvia's Place uh, foundations. I did a video with the foundation already. I don't know which one is gonna go up first. I was a little annoyed with Juvia's Place so my energy towards Juvia's place in that video is not the greatest but it turned out well I am I'm okay with it I'm just saying so I don't know if I said I bought these lashes from Ulta I stopped by Ulta this morning the Lash Couture Faux Mint Collection by Kiss these are in the style Jubilee I can't remember how much they were but I had like two coupons also, I have a lippy that I got in my boxy charm that I haven't worn. Talk is chic by Dose of Colors. Don't know if I'll be playing in that today, but this is what I really, really wanted to play in. This is the Colored Rain Safari Rain palette. When they were showing the promos for this palette, I was like, for me, all for me. And then when it came out, I was like, I don't you know been trying to be more conscious of the purchases that i make and do they make sense for my collection am i going to get use out of them do i really really want it so i tend to sleep on things a little bit more now than i did before where i would just you know impulse buy so i'm getting better the struggle is real but during memorial day this palette was on sale and they were having, I want to say, 30% off. And then if you use the code MEMORIAL, you got an extra 20% off. So, yeah. I'm so glad I didn't buy it when it first came out because I did get it at a great price. I want to say it was 20 bucks that I paid for it. Also, and I just dig down in my drawers. I do have the Huda Beauty, uh, what is it, Tantor Contour and Bronzer Cream. I have mine in the shade Tan. <clears throat> I have used this once before. I don't know how I feel about it. So I figured why not let's play in that today as well. I also have the Juvia's Place Concealer. And like I said, I did... A video using the foundation and concealer I bought two foundation shades um, I didn't think either one would work for me but the shade Togo actually works for me I also have the shade Burkina which is no good I have the concealer in the shade number 12 I really like how it looks I thought it would be a little bit too bright but it actually worked out fine with the foundation I also have the Huda Beauty resting boss face and I do have some thoughts on this product. I'm possibly returning this product and we'll talk about why later on 
in the video which you probably already know why because everybody's video that I watch had pretty much the same thing to say about the setting spray Jackie Aina did a look with this um, palette and Andrea Renee replicated the look I want to say with a different palette and both of their looks were beautiful and I was inspired by both of them um, I can't remember the sequence or the order in which Jackie Aina went but I just want to play in some colors so yeah guys what products have you been loving lately what have you been buying I'm gonna go in the shade clay first and that is this middle you know transition orange shade make sure I have no creases that's one thing I do like about taut shape tape as an eyeshadow base it don't really crease on me too bad I love colored rain eyeshadows they are super duper pigmented they are brown girl friendly and they just get the job done but this is doing exactly what I wanted I just wanted to warm up the crease a little bit and I'm gonna throw some in there and it's a perfect shade clay then I'm gonna go in with this deep it's a matte teal shade in the shade jungle right up my alley this shade right here and I'm gonna put that a little bit lower yeah so and I'm gonna take my time and build it up oh maybe not maybe not I want to go into I gotta go into this green green valley it's like calling my name if I had a brush green valley the one dead smack in the center that's a pretty pretty shade I'm telling you that's the only reason I wanted this palette for that shade and do I have a shade like that in another palette probably so but is it colored rain formula nope I'm just gonna do this just a tiny bit with my Morphe spray Ooh, look at that <laughs> girl bye Now I want to go towards the inner part of the eye with this shade Toucan, which is this gold shade right here. And I'm going to just use the opposite side of the brush. That's pretty too. Looks like royalty. And I'm going to... Oh. Color rain, color rain. Now I'm gonna put a black line, which I'll probably speed through this because y'all know this is a struggle. Oh, so, this foundation, like I said in my video, it was a little lackluster, it was a little dry. So we're gonna get back into it. This is in the shade Togo. They did come out with 42 shades. I bought two shades. The story is long, but this shade seems to work for me decent enough where it, it's a pretty good shade which I didn't think it would work but it does a little bit of this goes a long way I when I use it the first time I shed it out quite a bit just because that's what I like I don't like super duper 
super duper cake face. So that's what we're doing. And I'm gonna try to share it out again. Not share it out, but it's so full coverage. I just don't want heavy looking makeup. I don't mind being flawless, but I don't want my makeup to look heavy or cakey. So this is what it's looking like. It's a little bit off from my body to my face, but I don't know the last time I did it, it just, it worked, it blended in. And the concealer, it looks super bright when I put it on. But then when I blended it, blended it out, it looked, it looked fine. And I didn't mix it with a dark concealer like I normally do. What I did do when I tried this for the first time, I will say, is I used my Laura Mercier Deep because I said if my under eye is looking a little bit too bright, the deep powder will kind of balance it a little bit. So I'm going to do the same thing. But a yellow powder wouldn't hurt either. And I have several yellow powders, but for this, I just like this. To me, it looks a little more natural with this powder. Now for my, oh, so I did not set those, the hollows of my cheeks, I just set I know it looks like I said everything, but I didn't. So the brush that I used the last time I used this, I'm gonna use the same brush because it seemed to it seemed to work. I think it worked. I don't know. Maybe it didn't. But this is a crown. I don't know. There's no number on it, but it's pretty dense and it's it's not thick. So what I did was. I took the tantor and I just kind of did like that. Not too heavy in it, just kind of dab, kind of dabbing in it. And then I, like that. I'm using a pretty light hand while applying this. Just because I found that I looked a little bit dirty. I don't know if it's the shade or the product or maybe the way I used it. And now I'm gonna go over that with a separate beauty blender. And I can squeeze this. This is a little bit dark for my nose, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I didn't add any extra product. So I'm gonna take that sponge and go underneath. I think, yeah, I think it, I think it's okay. Whatever. Like I said, I don't know how I feel about it yet and I have mine in the shade tan, but it looks pretty okay. I like the jaw. I like how slim it is. The packaging is it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna take my powder brush and sweep off the excess powder. I'm gonna take this Luxie brush. I think it's Luxie. It is Luxie. So this says cream blush glow cream base. I don't know. So since this says base, let me see what it says on top. Okay, this says glow, this says blush. I don't know. I'm a blush first and then glow. So I'm gonna go into that beautiful cranberry shade. That's 
it on my brush. I'm gonna put more. That's it. I think that looks bomb. And it is a cream, but it like picks up like a powder slash cream. It's kind of like the same consistency as that Tantor, but I like it. Okay, now I'm gonna go into this, what is this, Duo Glow? And then what is this one? Glow Extreme. So this one is the Duo Glow and this one is the Glow Extreme. So let's go Duo Glow first. And let's see. Uh, hot damn. <sighs> That's pretty. Ooh. I like that. And that shade is right up my alley. The peachy, goldy. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a little bit of the Glow Extreme. Can we get any? I'm going to just tap my brush into it. It's probably more glittery. Mm. It's pretty. Okay, y'all. So that's that. And a snack. On my lower lash line, I'm going to use the Linda Hallberg Crayon in the shade Calm Mood. It is a grass green crayon. I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. Three quarters of the way in. We didn't use that orange shade. It's not so much a highlight shade, but I'm going to put it in my tear duct anyway and I'm gonna wet it a little bit chestnut chestnut dressing this is a Pat McGrath lippy I don't know the name of it because it's tiny and I'm blind but it is a it's like an orange, a ready orange. Yeah. This is what I want. This is what I want. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Well, it's about to be the end of the video. I like the way the foundation looks. Like, this is my second time doing a look with it. And I think the color is not bad. Y'all tell me what you think. The other color, shade that I had was Burkina and Burkina. I just can't, I can't, I can't do it. The other shade that I tried on in store is so loud. So this is what I have to work with. But I think it looks, hmm, girl, you look good. Girl, you look good once you back the thing up. The concealer, I'm loving it. We'll see how it wears. The Natasha Denona Glow and Bloom Palette. <clears throat> glad I got a discount, but I'm so glad I purchased it because this palette is beautiful. What else did we use? This lipstick is not new. Yeah. All right. It's giving me all kinds of summer vibes. This Safari palette, yo, if you do not have it, I think they're still 30% off. Girl, go get it. It is. It's so worth the $20 that I paid for it. Tell me how y'all really feel about this wig because maybe if it was curly, I don't know. I don't like it. But thanks for tuning in. Please, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. Put your comments below. I am at SoulSearcher38 on Instagram. And I am Nicole Fenner on Facebook. I do not have a Twitter because I do not tweet. I'm not a bird. See you later, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Smooches. Bye. Oh, I forgot to say the Tantor bronzer. I think it works pretty good. With this brush that I have, this crown brush, my suggestion would be either use a beauty sponge or 
use a pretty dense dense and fluffy if that makes sense because it kind of gives you a little bit more control over where you place it because the first time I used it I looked quite dirty but I think the shade is good for me I did not add a powder to it it's supposed to be cream to powder so I figured let's see what you about yeah so I have forgot to mention it so I had to come back and tell you that yeah the tinsel thing that I wanted to talk about this setting spray so Huda Beauty suggests that you spray this on a sponge and put it on your face I tried that I'm not saying it didn't hold my makeup in place but it was it is so strong in fragrance I do have sensitive skin not ultra sensitive skin but I don't know if I can handle this I might be returning this because it's not cheap I might be returning this and just sticking to my Urban Decay All Nighter and my Morphe Continuous Mist Setting Spray um I don't know and it made my face super duper it made my face matte now I want certain parts of my face to be matte but I want to have a healthy you know a healthy reflection to my skin and this made me quite dull I didn't like it so yeah there's that um I'm not gonna do a demo because I'm not spraying it on my face because I'm an asthmatic and it just don't work out for me so See you next time, guys. Bye.